Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The church celebrates today the dedication of the basilicas of Saints Peter and Paul. Our mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Punsalan SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration in Novena to Christ the King will now begin. Please rise. the seventh day of our novena in preparation for the solemnity of Christ the King we pray that governments around the world may be a true servant leader to their people and continue to serve rather to be served by the people Jesus Christ is King of Kings come let us adore him in deepest reverence we approach the glorious throne of our risen Lord and King Jesus Christ and offer him the tribute of our homage and adoration. We adore and praise him to whom the Eternal Father said, Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day's tire, like the Jew, I have begotten you. Lord Jesus, not only do we implore you for your mercy, we earnestly beg of you to reign over us. Your interests must be our own. Fulfill in our time the promises you made to St. Margaret Mary. Hasten and establish the universal reign of your sacred heart. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart, O Jesus, before Satan succeeds in corrupting every state of life and leading people far from you and from their eternal salvation. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart, and gain the victory of your love in every home. Reign there by your spirit of peace promised to all, joyfully receive you into their hearts. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart, and do not delay, dear Lord, for many homes are suffering bitter evils which you alone can heal. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart, Grant to priests and religious that by the word and example may draw all people to you to love and serve you faithfully. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart, enlighten the youth of today that they grasp the beauty of a clean life, the strength of solid virtue, and the attractiveness of mercy and love as demonstrated by your own life of selfless service to others. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart. Conquer them by your gospel message, so that their ideal is none other than you, O sacred heart of Jesus. Give them a tender love of your virgin mother, so that they from her the secrets of the heart that has so loved people. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us present our needs and petitions to the merciful heart of Christ the King. May the holy and triumphant God live in our hearts. 
and may the heart of Jesus live and reign in our hearts and the hearts of all people. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we celebrate today the dedication of the Basilicas of Saints Peter and Paul in the Eternal City. Today we honor Peter and Paul, the two pillars of the Catholic Church. They are the princes of the Apostles. The Church pays tribute to them in a special way by celebrating the consecration of the two basilicas in Rome that are considered central places of worship in memory of Peter and Paul. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Defend your church, O Lord. By the protection of the holy apostles Peter and Paul, that as she received from them the beginnings of her knowledge of things divine, so through them she may receive, even to the end of the world, an increase in heavenly grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. The officers of the king in charge of enforcing the apostasy came to the city of Modin to organize the sacrifices. Men of Israel joined them, but Mattathias and his sons gathered in a group apart. Then the officers of the king addressed Mattathias, You are a leader, an honorable and great man in this city, supported by sons and kin. Come, now be the first to obey the king's command, as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah, and those who are left in Jerusalem, have done. Then you and your son shall be numbered among the king's friends and shall be enriched with silver and gold and many gifts. But Mattathias answered in a loud voice, Although all the Gentiles in the king's realm obey him, 
so that each forsakes the religion of his fathers and consents to the king's orders. Yet I and my sons and my kin will keep to the covenant of our fathers. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the commandments. We will not obey the words of the king nor depart from our religion in the slightest degree. As he finished saying these words, a certain Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice on the altar of Modan, according to the king's order. When Matathias saw him, he was filled with zeal. His heart was moved and his just fury was aroused. He sprang forward and killed him upon the altar. At the same time, he also killed the messenger of the king, who was forcing them to sacrifice, and he tore down the altar. Thus, he showed his zeal for the law, just as Phinehas did with Zimri, son of Salu. Then Matathias went through the city, shouting, Let everyone who is zealous for the law and who stands by the covenant follow after me. Thereupon he fled to the mountains with his sons, leaving behind in the city all their possessions. Many who sought to live according to righteousness and religious custom went out into the desert to settle there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice. For God himself is the judge. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice and fulfill your vows to the God Most High. Then call upon in me time of distress. I will rescue and you shall glorify me. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. They will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation my dear friends in Christ this is the gospel 
the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last November 8, about a week ago, the church celebrated the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran in Rome. We mentioned last November 8 that the Basilica of St. John Lateran in Rome is the parish of the Holy Father. The Holy Father is a parish priest of that basilica and we are all his parishioners. Today we celebrate again two more basilicas in Rome. There are four major basilicas that are in Rome and that are worthy of any visit if ever we go to the eternal city. Let us enumerate again the four basilicas. The Basilica of St. John Lateran, the memory of which we celebrated last November 8. Today we celebrate the memory of two other basilicas, St. Peter's Basilica, the second, and the third is the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls. There is a fourth major basilica which belongs to the same grouping and this is the basilica of saint mary major maria maggiore this is the first basilica erected in the west in honor of the blessed mother why do we celebrate today the basilicas of peter and paul because we would like to honor these two great pillars of Christianity. They are the princes of the apostles. They are the two great apostles of the Lord. And today we honor Peter and Paul, pillars of the Catholic Church, princes of the apostles. The church pays tribute to them in a special way on the occasion of the consecration of the two basilicas in Rome that are considered central places of worship in memory of these two great apostles. Since the second century, the tombs of Peter and Paul in Rome have been places of Christian veneration. Around the year 330, the Emperor Constantine built a basilica on the side of the Vatican Hill over the grave of Peter and shortly afterwards a more modest basilica was also constructed to honor Paul. Until today, both basilicas stand as magnificent testimonials in memory of these two great men. Peter, the successor of Christ, and Paul, the missionary to the Gentiles. This is the reason why we celebrate the dedication of these two great basilicas in honor of these two great men of the faith. Let me also say something about the gospel reading that we read today. The gospel reading today relates a sad incident that happened during the public ministry of Jesus. The Gospel reading today pictures the pity of Jesus, the anger of Jesus, the lament and the anguish of Jesus over Jerusalem, whose people failed to recognize His divine presence. That is why, looking at Jerusalem from above, Jesus wept. He did not only shed a tear, he wept. And there is a difference between shedding a tear and weeping. There is a difference between shedding a tear and crying. My dear brothers and sisters, the tears of Jesus are the tears of God. 
when he sees the needless pain and suffering in which people involve themselves through foolish rebelling against his will. And this particular episode in the gospel shows one of the rare instances in which the Lord Jesus cried. Yes, Jesus also cried. Do not be ashamed to cry. I also cried. When my mother died, I cried. When my father passed away, I also cried. Our Lord also cried. People cry. He cried at the death of Lazarus. He cried when he was being crucified on the cross. The tears of the Lord are the tears of God. When Jesus saw the unnecessary pain, the suffering, the stubbornness of heart of the people of Jerusalem, these people did not recognize the presence of God in the presence of Jesus. People cry for different reasons. There are tears of joy. There are tears of sorrow. There are tears of lamentation. But there are also what we call crocodile tears. The tears of the Lord are tears of sorrow and lamentation. For the failure of the people of Jerusalem to recognize and accept his message of salvation. God also cries. God also cries for us. Amen. Let us all stand. Let us make our prayers and intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to the eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. The response will be, Lord, let us feel your presence. Lord, let us feel your presence. That the church may become a living sign and instrument of unity and peace. We pray. Lord, Lord let, let us, us feel, feel your, your presence. presence. That as community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice, we pray. Lord, let us feel your presence. That we may avoid making excuses in responding to the demands of our faith, we pray. Lord, let us feel your presence. That life's misfortunes or sickness may not distract us from our resolve to follow Jesus, even in suffering, we pray. Lord, let us feel your presence. For our civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and come to the aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank you for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least among the society. May the true Bayanian spirit prevail among all of us. We pray. Lord, let us feel your presence. That eternal salvation be given to the faithful departed. We pray. Lord, Lord let, let us feel your presence. God our Father, may we never look back or hesitate to move forward in the journey towards your kingdom. May these prayers strengthen our faith. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks to 
lecturer, you Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have peace mind to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we bring you this offering of our service, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that the truth handed down to us by the ministry of the apostles Peter and Paul may endure undefiled in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock. But through the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, you watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, remember your servants, Elena Rodriguez, Felipe Acosta, Dominga Acosta, Grace Rogelio, George and Catalina Baula, Vicente Sr. and Juanita Abihuela, Vicente Jr. and Emmanuel Abihuela, Candice Fay Abihuela, Remy and Ray Baula, Grace Di Mesa, Gurley Flores, Heidi Wakino, Marino Castano, Kenneth and Franz, Ino Pascual, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, especially Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the church in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with your Lord's spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The Lord said to Simon, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your people, we pray, O Lord, nourished by the bread of heaven, rejoice in commemorating the apostles Peter and Paul. For it is through your gift that we are governed under their patronage through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country in the whole world. We pray for health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion in holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to our protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Kalungsud. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Freinademets. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcement. First, as the AITF protocol eases, eases up, Please be informed of the Shrine's Mass schedule that is open to the public. Mondays to Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. To ensure the safety of everyone, observance of health and safety standards such as social distancing, wearing of face masks and face shields, use of alcohol and taking of body temperature is still in place. Please bring your vaccination cards to be presented at the entrance. Second, we are inviting you all to join our celebration of the Solemnity of Christ the King, Feast Day of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Schedule of Activities November 20. 2021 Saturday 7 p.m. Complain and Vocation Jam 4 November 21, 2021 Sunday 4 p.m. Fiesta Mass to be followed by a procession and benediction All our activities will be live streamed through our Facebook page CKMS Christ the King Mission Seminary and YouTube channel CKMS Castillo you can also watch through the following Facebook pages, the UC Sun Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Divine Word Media, Words to Light Our Path, and other SVD Facebook pages. And third, to usher in the Advent season, we will be having an Advent recollection on Friday, December 3, 2021, during the 6 p.m. Mass. We have invited Father Arlo Bernardo Yap, SVD, from the CBCP's Ep Episcopal Commission on Biblical Apostol Apostolate as a speaker. Christmas, ma Christmas Masses schedules are as follows. Simbangabi, December 15 to 23, 
2021, 8pm, Misa de Gallo, December 16 to 24, 2021, 4.30am, Christmas Eve Mass, December 24, 2021, 8pm, said Masses will be live streamed and open to the public. Thank you. Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD, Shrine Rector. I have, I have a few more announcements. Please do not, I'd like to address, good morning, our benefactors, donors, and sponsors at the For Christ the King Mission Seminary for our seminarians. I'd like to address you and I'd like to make it clear that the Advent Recollection being organized by the Shrine is different from the Advent Recollection that we are also organizing for our benefactors, donors, and sponsors, which we will uh, live stream on December 11. That is the night before the third Sunday of Advent. On December 11, Saturday, the time of which we will still finalize. I'd like also to make it clear to everybody, especially to the benefactors, donors, and sponsors, that we continue to appeal for financial assistance, for financial support for our seminarians who are in need. You please uh, think about it. If you have some resources to share for the seminarians, you please uh, send your donation either to the following the following um, uh, details Banco de Oro account name Divine Word Mission uh, I'm sorry Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc and for the Account number 0002201912477. And for the GCash numbers, they are also being flashed in front of you. And we are also showing the email address in case you want to connect with me personally. I'd like to take this opportunity to greet the relatives of one of our donors who are celebrating their birthdays today. Maria Cristina Agkawili in California in the United States. Happy birthday to the following members of your family. Ricardo Aurelio Lerma Melesio Ricci Lili Primitiva and Catalina. Please be informed that we offer this, this Mass for you family and for your intentions. I'd like also to congratulate and greet a couple who's, who is sending help to us. I'd like to greet Mr. and Mrs. Rodrigo and Amparo Senidosa. I'd like to greet you a happy wedding anniversary that you are celebrating tomorrow November 19 but I have no stream live stream mass tomorrow so I I already said your intention for today they will be celebrating tomorrow their 49th wedding anniversary short of one year before the golden wedding anniversary if you cannot watch the mass if you cannot join the mass now you can replay it later either in YouTube or in Facebook. And again, please do not forget our Advent recollection on December 11. And may I also invite you to uh, visit the new Facebook page of CKMS Donor Care. CKMS Donor Care, especially for our benefactors, donors, and sponsors. Maraming, maraming salamat po. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us now go in peace.
Thanks be to God. Oh. 